All right, now this is going to be kind of hard holding the camera and doing this, but you see that we got a big blemish right there. Big scratch. So I'm taking a piece of uh, 800 grit wet dry sandpaper and we're going to work at that area and try to remove that big scratch out. Put a little bit of dish liquid in the water just to uh, <clears throat> just to keep the paper moving. And you see there that big gouge is gone. Okay, there's another area there. Right here where you see right above the light. That could use some uh, work. And once again, let's just take our wet sandpaper, work that area. Okay, now that big scratch is out. I see we put more scratches in, but We'll remove those with finer grits of, of sandpaper as we go along here. Okay, here's a, here's a mark. And you see, I'm not pressing particularly hard. Sometimes you have to. And you always try to do it with the grain of the way you're going to have to buff it back out. So we got most of that out. Now there's a part here by this stanchion. That's going to be a little harder to get to. Now we're going to rub in there. And we're going to have to 95% probably buff that one out. But we'll get some of the major stuff out of that one. Okay, there's more scratches. So see what you do is kind of make all the, the scratching uniform. And what you actually do is remove a little microscopic bit of the metal. But then you don't have the, the big gouges anymore in the piece. Here's one right here. You can see that scratch. Okay, so we'll hit that. With the wet dry paper. was pretty deep there. Okay, we've gotten 80% uh, of that one out. I learned all this stuff working on cars, body work, during my lifetime. As a musician, I also had to do other things, obviously, to survive and raise my daughter on my own. I'm going into that area there a little bit more. Try to get that glass big gouge out of there. See, while we're doing this, at the same time, 
we're also removing the last vestiges of that oxidization at the same time whatever the the initial uh, compound bath didn't take out okay so keep going along keep your paper wet keep it moving and eventually those those deep scratches will come out just a little bit of them left there you can see right there I'll try to even those out And this kind of stuff that happens when you take the paper off, you know, that can be removed with the next step and we go to the higher grit paper. What we're doing now is just looking for the big gouges. The imperfections. Is it time consuming? Yes, but most restoration work is. Okay, here on the end we've got a deep one. Very, very deep one. Keep cleaning your work off. Seeing how much more you got to do to remove that. Okay, so right now, it probably looks like we have done more harm than good, but this is not the case. Okay, up here. There's a nice deep one there. Work at that one. Let's see, we've got to do some more work on that one to get that one out. <laughs> But that's the idea. That's how it's done. You just keep going. There's another one. Big old gouge scratch in there. See how we did on that one. Yep. It's gone. Gone. Remember that was just there. Now it's gone. Okay, and what you do is you keep moving now back over these areas with all uh, like a thousand grit piece of sandpaper after you've removed the major stuff. There's another one there. Just 
piece we didn't get from the other one. I think you get the idea. See, and sooner or later we're, we're left with a, a surface that's scratched, but now it's just tiny scratches. And we're going to go over those with higher grades of sandpaper. Once again, this 800 is just to get the big stuff. The less places you have to put this stuff, the better, of course. Because then you're not going back over it with the other grades as much. I'm trying to light this good enough to see it. It's still going to be difficult to... Uh, but uh, I, I have disclosed the technique. And now what I'll...